In this video, I'm going to show you how you can buy a domain name from Hostinger. So if you didn't know, you can buy a website hosting and domain name package for $2.59, or you can just buy a domain name and use it like Namecheap or GoDaddy. So if you go to the link in the description, it will take you to this page here, and then you can follow along and buy the domain name. So you want to then go to domains, once you've obviously got to the Hostinger page. So then once you're on domains, you can see here, you can do a domain name search and simply just buy a domain in minutes. So I'm going to search for a domain name. I'll just search for, I don't know, knowledge base tutorials and we'll search for .com. Click search. You can see that domain is available and we can save 31% and we can buy this for $8.99 uh, pence per year. What we can also do is we can go to more options and we can add any of these to the cart. So let's say I might want a .co.uk or I might want .shop or any of these add-ons here. Now, some of these are going to be a lot cheaper. So if you get like a .cloud domain, it's going to cost you 99 pence per year. But if you're trying to take things serious and you're trying to rank your website on Google, Google prefer .com and .co.uk domains or .net is okay as well. Now, I would highly recommend if you've entered in your your domain here and it's taken, I would highly recommend you change it in some way so you can get a .com domain. Don't go ahead and buy like a dot, dot .tech domain or a .xyz because it doesn't look professional and Google just don't favor these domains. So once you've found a .com domain ideally that's available, you can then go add to cart. And here you can see we are registering this for one year. And then after one year, if you want it to auto renew, you can see it's going to be £12.99 per year. You can also change this period here and play around with the pricing. Um, but I would just keep it on one year and then let it auto renew. You can see that Hostinger have free domain privacy protection, which means people can't look up your domain and find your address, which is great. But we can now scroll down and you want to then create your account. So I don't have a Hostinger account yet, so I'm going to enter in my email address here. Now, once I've done that, I can then select a payment method. So I'm going to pay with PayPal. And I'm just going to change my country to my residence country. So here is the total. It's going to come out to $10.95. We can then submit this as a secure payment. We can then go to the PayPal checkout, which is going to open the PayPal window where we can sign in and pay. So there you go, once that's gone through, it will now redirect you to the control panel. And because you're creating a new account, you can then enter in a new password, which I'll do now. And you can now finish up your account here. Once you've done all of that, click on finish registration. It will then register your domain. And then that's gonna be under review, which will get approved in a couple of hours. Now click continue, click skip. I don't need a website, depending on if you need one or not. But if you just wanted, wanted to register the domain, then here you go. So now you're inside the back end. So if we go ahead and go to Hostinger, this is going to be your dashboard and you can go to domains and here you'll see all of your domains that you've got active. You can then go to manage. Obviously, it will take you to the back end and you can do stuff like change name servers, redirect the domain to other places and so on. 